Wow, that was loud. Okay. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Wendy, and today we're playing a game called Strange Horticulture. We're going to take it easy. We're going to take a little break from Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, to play something chill. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that the neighbors can reach across and shake hands, or more likely, exchange unpleasantries. Dun! Watch this actually be an indie horror or something, psychological horror. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants you may have noticed need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. Okay. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. Oh boy! Oh boy! This game features some small text. If you're having difficulty reading, you can hold shift to zoom in. Okay. Day one, a Friday. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is very atmospheric. I love it. I found it. An excerpt on the elusive wandering view. Come to the library in Ambleside and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the gilded Dendra that might be of interest. Simone. P.S. Give Hellbore a good scratch behind the ear for me. Hellebore? What do you- What is this? Close examination. Blue flowers. Stiff leaves. Okay. These flowers that we have, what? Flowers are made up of many small- okay, they smell pleasant. Give her a big- give him a big scratch. Oh, What a cutie. Okay. Boom! Victoria Gray. Hello, I must have walked past this shop a hundred times without ever stopping by. Stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day, surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me, but nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has got the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. St. John's Poppy? Oh. How do I know what she needs? Should I just- oh, what's this? Oh. You can drag items from here onto your desk. Oh. St. John's Poppy. Uh, hold on. Let me read it. In the beginning. <laughs> uh. A note from the author. This encyclopedia- Encyclopedia can be used as a reference to help identify plants. Note that where I have included sketches, these are not always intended as an aid to ident identification. Often the description will be more useful to you. Remember to take e extra care when dealing with poisonous plants. I accept no responsibility should injury or death occur as a result of misuse of this encyclopedia. Okay, St. John's Poppy. The vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a draught that can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing ability. Flowers of the St. Poppy, St. John's Poppy are bright red with a yellow center. Bright red with a yellow center. Bright red with a yellow center. Got you. Nice. Plant identified. Ooh. Click to close and add to book. According to legend, clavillium can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex or secure. The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Lovelock. Cool. Okay. What is this? What is that? Is that a map? What is going on? Oh my god. Okay. 
Uh, come to the library in Ambleside. Where is Ambleside? Oh, Ambleside. Oh, wow! The library here in Ambleside is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today, she's grinning ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. A couple book entries. Oh, that is so cool. Gilded Dendra, that's what she mentioned. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to Dendra's miasma. A sure and painful way to die. The poison is so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be deadly. Uh, it can be painful. Oh no, I didn't read the other one. It's fine. Let's put this away for now. Hello, David Chaffa. Good morning. Bloody awful weather out there today. Good for the plants though, eh? Got a letter for you. Ooh. Ooh. What? Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger. Just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began by recovery, my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall, I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. That's a great name. I like that. Amos Duncan. Very like, seems like an adventurer. Okay. Uh, Goss first. I mean, I'll come to, I'll come back to that. So this is done, right? Uh, should I archive it? Sure. Oh, dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Back Barrow. Keep it secret. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Uh. Let's take a look. So, what's this? Northeast of Back Barrow. Where is Back Barrow? Is it on our map? Back Barrow. So, dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Back Barrow. This area, maybe? Oh, the weather, weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a gray morning has turned into bright sunshine. A good thing, too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over, a cloak of unwelcome shade. <gasps> we got a new plant! This is so fun. I'm loving this. Okay. Uh, I guess we can only do... Oh, we can only explore. So... Gilbert Ames. I have to wait for the thing to unlock, I guess? Something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way around, down through Back Barrow. I never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now, and I've brought Fennet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you factor in the extra miles I've had to cover to get here. Lemon dandy. Do I have that? Yes. Its curled leaves are thought to be the origin of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to a peeled lemon rind. Among several medicinal uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with curing affliction of, afflictions of the heart. Okay, so something that looks like that. Let's see. Uh, okay, I guess it's supposed to look like lemons. Do I have it? I don't know. What's this? Okay. Oh, it's a letter. Um, I don't know if I have it. What if I don't have it? Oh, no. Curled leaves. Is it this one? No, it can't be that one. This one? Supposedly referring to... Uh, is it this one? It kind of looks like it, right? 
<gasps> I need to be careful. That wasn't lemon dandy. I must be better prepared, prepared next time. Oh no. I don't know if I have it, do I? Or is it this one? Oh no. A rising dread. Um, where can I find it? Among several medicinal uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with your- Okay. Oh, this one. It's got to be this one. Yes. <gasps> I don't like that. Oh, new plant. Well, it's that one, that one right? Okay. Let's take a look at this. We'll use this letter. We'll look at, look at this letter. Gosforth. Gosforth. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger. Uh, I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of tra travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright fl Okay, it has to be this one. What was it? Yeah, northeast. The wood had has a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to escape into nature away from the stench and clamor of Undermere. It is not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. Nice! Oh, pretty! That's fun. Um, okay, let's put this away. Archive these, because we did them. What's this? Huh. What's this? Labels? Interesting. Oh. Okay, let's do another one. I'm scared. Hello. Face swift. My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her, a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of an expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing, but not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly horrifying laughter that chilled me t like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. Forest Camphrey? Let's see. Forest Camphrey. Oh, it's gotta be like this. The strong smelling bulb of this plant has a powerful so soporific effect making it a common ingredient in sleeping draughts. Produces a beautiful rounded dark blue cluster made up of many smaller flowers. Dark blue? Can't be that one then. Well, hopefully I have it. Oh no. Oh, is it this one? Maybe. It's gotta be this one. Let's try it. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> A shiver travels down my spine. My mind is broken. Do we lose? Oh. Just put it back together. It's fine. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, interesting. Hmm. Wow, this is so interesting. Um Okay. Whoa. Wow, this is so fun. That's so cool. What the heck? Where does this go? There it is. Oh, what an interesting puzzle. I've never seen anything like it. Gotta piece back together our mind. 
There we go. <laughs> I feel revived. My mind is whole again. It might be helpful if you get stuck. Okay. We'll try using the hint next time. Oh, I have to start all over? Oh, jeez. Hi. <laughs> okay. Keep that open. So, okay, so we still have these. That's not too bad. It's not too bad of a, a penalty. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, shoot. What even is this? Mm. I shouldn't have. Okay, perfect. It's not like used up or anything, so that's good. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, hello again. <laughs> oh, we just pick up right where we left off. That's good. Let's try using a hint this time. Hmm, Forest Camphrey. I'm sure I have some of that around here. That's our hint. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So it's not this. But it's dark... What was it? Camphrey produces a beautiful rounded dark blue cluster. Made up of many smaller flowers. Oh, it's gotta be this, right? Let's try it. Oh, it's gotta be that. It doesn't look like that in the picture, though. Okay. Butterdale. I should probably be adding labels to these plants so I can see which ones I've identified already. Okay. Um, sure then. So this is... Oh, forest... Cam free. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe I should do the ones that I already got to. We got Butterdale. Okay, Lemon Dandy. Was this one, I think? Or this one? I think it's this one. Was it? How do I know? The smell is faintly off-putting but not overpowering. Oh, maybe that will help. Light, airy scent. I think this one was a uh, lemon. Oh, not that one. Oh. Lemon dandy. I think it was this one. Okay, let's go back. St. John's Poppy. Was this one, right? I think. Oh no, this one, because it's red. Bright red with yellow center, that's right. St. John's Poppy. Awesome. Okay. Are there more clues around here? Oh, interesting. Pet the kitty. Okay, let's, uh... Nora Butterfield. Got any wandering view? That always reminds me of... Oh, what's his name? That old hermit inventor, the wanderer? Anyway, the view, if you've got it. <laughs> I think I do. Uh, let's see. Wandering view. So called because this fungus can move slowly in the dark. It has been known to cover distances of up to several meters in a single night. The gills on the underside of this mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They are also quite hard and sharp, earning his this plant the nickname Fingers Bane. Ugh. Does it have a smell? Let's look at it. Ooh. Well, that one's definitely a fungus. Maybe this one? Not as spongy as most mushrooms. In fact, the undersides are somewhat sharp. Red warts protrude from the caps. Is it that one? Beautiful flowing lines. They're also quite hard and sharp. Let's see if it's that one. Yes! 
Wandering view. Okay. Ooh, pretty. I wonder if these plants are real. Probably not. I don't know. Are they? Because they have like Latin names too. The leaves curl around del delightfully, which combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature make this a sought after mm. ornamental plant. Okay, so this is Wandering View. That's actually very helpful. Helpful indeed. Okay. Let's go to the next day. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. It started when she found something. Something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Whoa! Saturday! Okay. Row H, the third river. Let's take a look at this real quick. Um, let's see. Row H, the third river. Okay. There's one, two, three. Is it supposed to look the same? Let's try that. Whoa. Whoa. That's so cool. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. Very cool. Oh, didn't we already have a... Should we organize our plants? Oh, we can like put stuff <gasps> closer together. Oh, I don't think we had it, I guess. Maybe you put fungi together. Oh, can I, oh, can I water these plants? Oh. Put funguses together. Beautiful flowers. These are like plants. Put them closer together so I don't want to go so far. I don't know what this is for still. Can I flip this over somehow? <gasps> what is this? Oh! <gasps> What? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Is there something we can do with this? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's open up shop. Isidore Burbage. Bring me a sample of Apis Demisis. And be quick about it. That damn cat is setting off my allergies. <gasps> Shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this. What was it? Apostemesis. Let's see. If we even... Oh, here we go. Gandhi root. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive pro troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. Is it this one? It smells pleasant. I can't tell. That description's so vague. It looks like that one, though. Let's see. Oh no, it's not that one. Oy, 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 oy. Um, let's see. Plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles. So it can't be these. Let's see what this says. <laughs> Only the petals are safe for consumption. Maybe this one? The leaves are coarse to the touch. <gasps> I think it might be this one. <gasps> nice! Perfect. Meek do. Okay, let's put a label on it. What was it called again? Gandy root. Let's do a different color. 
That's fun. <laughs> okay. Is there something I'm missing? Okay. <laughs> Bios? Oh. Wow. Something significant about this person. Burbage is a rich man who inherited a fortune but never experienced the love of his parents. He expects people to do his bidding and is quick to anger. There are many in Undermere who would be glad to see the back of him, but with wealth comes power and few would challenge him to his face. Hmm. Faye Swift grew up with her mother. Her father was rarely violent, but once is enough. When he struck her, it finally broke the hold he had over her mother and she fled in the night. The sleeping Faye held close. Faye often has vivid dreams, but has never considered that other people do not. She came to strange horticulture seeking relief from her nightmares. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if there's a murder that we need to solve yet. Lake Undermere is looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. Thanks. What's in it? There's an old, oh, there's an old slate mine at Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a, a niche in the damp, dark tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. Who's Amos Duncan? Is that our secret, like, friend? Is that our pen pal? <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Uh, where did it say? Old Slate Mine at Hard Knot. Hmm. Hard Knot, Hard Knot. Okay, that is some interesting looking fungi. I've never seen anything like it. They seem to have found a niche in the damp, dark tunnels left by the tramways. Should I just go here? An iron gate rusted by years of abandonment sits across the entrance to the tram tunnel. Rusted it may be, but it won't budge. Locked. I need clavillium. Let's see. Clavillium. According to legend, clavillium can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex or secure. The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the name nickname Lovelock. Oh yeah. Is it this one? Smooth wavy leaves. Do we have anything else that looks like here? Maybe I should try it. These kind of look heart-shaped. I think it might be this. Oh no! Dang it. This one looks kind of heart-shaped. Let's see if I can use a hint. How did that help? <laughs> Where was the hint? I'm sure I have that somewhere around here. <laughs> Is it this one? The vein leaves have a wavy fin waxy finish. Ooh. Uh, okay. Let's try this one. Is that- oh, it doesn't have a label. Okay, let's try it. Oh! That's clavillium. Very nice. Clavillium. Clavillium? Yes. Okay. The gate swings open slowly, complaining loudly on its rusty hinges. After a short exploration of the tunnel, I am rewarded. <gasps> Three plants? Wow! Ooh, they're all fungi. Very nice. Let's organize them together. You know? Make it nice and neat. Okay. Let's organize this area too. 
this away for now. Okay, so this is done. Nice. Wow, very cool. Okay, Reuben Ward. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a secretive lot, and they've not, they're not keen to talk to me. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. My instinct is, is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that would help me win them over. Fox button. I'm like one thing away. Okay. An offering a of fox button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. Thick shiny leaves grow in opposing pairs along the stem. Stiff leaves. Thick shiny leaves. Let's look at this. Small leaves. It's thick shiny leaves. How about this? Mm. How about this? Smooth waxy leaves. What about this? Maybe this one? It doesn't look anything like it. What about this? Small leaves, delicate flowers. I think it might be this one. Let's look at this first. Stiff leaves. Thick, shiny leaves growing. Okay. Let's look at a hint. Oh. Oh, so none of the ones that I... Oh, oh no. I think it might be this one. Nice! Okay, so is there like unlimited hints? Let's label this real quick. Fox button, is that what it was? Yep. Fox button. Okay. all we got. Ooh, we're so close <laughs> to losing our minds. <laughs> Victoria Gray. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's Poppy. Oh, is, is that who that was? Uh, there's a medium using the room, illegally I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know of that I could use to have give them a scare and drive them away? I need my sleep. Harley Quinn Blue. Let's take a look. Do we have it? Is there ever going to be an encounter where we don't have it? When the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with a downy pappus, which assists in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out high-pitched streaks Widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plants. Whoa. Let's see if I have anything that looks like that. Where about this? I don't know about this one. Harley Quinn Blue. What about this? It kind of looks like it. Let's see. <laughs> we did it. Shimmer lung. Okay. So this one's Harley Quinn blue. Awesome. <gasps> oh, she's cloaked. Bethany Coleman. You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. May Arduina, Arduina bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The sisterhood does not often look to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. Oh, this is where the story comes in. The conflict. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry to the forest. To be assured of your discretion, we require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. Mary's breath. Oh, oh, the plot thickens. 
Wide waxy leaves allow this plant to collect the large amount of water it requires. It's totally this one. Nice. <gasps> we got a letter. Okay, let me write down that this is Mary's breath. Okay. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lakeshore across from Torver. Please help us. Yours in hope, the sisterhood of Arduina. Okay. Let's just go do that now. Um, let's see. So you'll find us deep in Grisdale Forest. Grisdale Forest. Okay, Grisdale Forest. A mile from the lakeshore across from Torber. A mile from the lakeshore across from Torber. Here? It's in the forest, so here? Oh! A sister tries to stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I'm ushered into a walled courtyard and then through a large oak door, along a corridor and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on a table draped in silk is the Arda. There's not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black as a wi raven's wing. Do you know what could do this? Asks my escort. I set to work. Ren? Do I oh, I have that. The long leaves of the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons and so can be used to detect them. Though it has no flowers, it is said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not. I think I saw that. We have something like that. This one? It has a scent that scratches at the back of my throat. I thought I had a plant uh, that looked like just leaves. Let's see. Oh, maybe it was that that I was thinking of. Um, though it has no flower, it is said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death and sweet to those who have not. It's got to be that one. Because this was... Oh no, what was it called again? This was Mary's Breath. Right? Yeah. How did I forget to... No, this is Mary's Breath. Oh, shoot. Let's examine this. Smooth, waxy leaves. What about this? Okay. It's gotta be this one. Because everything else has flowers. Well, what's this? No, can't be that. Is this- does this have flowers? Small red berries, can't be that. I think it's this one. Maybe I should use a hint. Uh, yeah, it's definitely this one. Okay. Whoo! <laughs> oh, we got two plants. I extract a sample of the Arda's blood and introduce it to the wren, and my suspicions are confirmed immediately. The leaves of the wren turn black, which can only mean one thing. Gilded Dendra poisoning. Upon presenting my findings, I am rushed away quickly. The sisters do not want me hanging around, it seems. They do, however, send me on my way with a couple of plants, which I am grateful for. Okay. Gray Sandfire. Cool. Whoa, look at the thorns on that one. So this is Ren. <laughs> okay. Very nice. This is done. Okay. I think I'm going to end the video here. That was really great so far. Like, 
I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> um, let me know if you liked it. I know it's, this has been out for a while, um, but I've been really wanting to play it for a while and I'm glad I'm starting it. Um, so let me know if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye guys.